as cute as these rabbits are, I like to eat my flowers. Today I'm going downtown to the Loop to shoot some video for a project I'm working on. It's been a while since I've been down there. Should be interesting to see what it's like. But first, I gotta cleanse everything in the car and uh, make sure it's all clean. downtown and you know there's some people around it's not totally deserted I'm in Maggie Daly Park really nice view of the city there are a few people walking their dogs well not nearby right now a few runners going by the loop isn't totally deserted there's some cars going around so Chicago's not dead still very much alive. This is the Chicago, Chicago Online, Online Video Interesting, Interesting Diary. Diary. <laughs> One of the absolute crazy things about walking around downtown right now is there's no traffic except the buses and the buses just have a total run of the place. Lakeshore Drive. It's 9.20 in the morning. It's good to see that people are paying attention to social distancing. But it's frightening to see this. It was an interesting trip downtown. Here's my neighbor Steve. Close enough. <laughs> Uh, the trip to the pond. Oh, yesterday? No, that was yesterday. Yeah. No, the pond is okay. That's, no, we went, that's, that's okay? The, no, the pond I went to was at Pulaski and, uh, like, Boston. That yeah. was really far. But I just went downtown just now. Uh, just for a little drive around? Well, I took some video. Yeah. It's empty. How are you doing? Doing all right. Do you have any we're, business? We're kind of keeping it afloat, but we're... You know, it's a tricky, yeah. It's a tricky moment because we have repairs that came in before the shutdown. Yeah. And we kind of feel like we need to finish those. Yeah. And get them to people. One or two people in the shop at a time. That, yeah. It's weird though. It's unsettling. It's Every deep. time somebody comes to the door. <laughs> Steve runs a guitar repair shop in the neighborhood. Yeah. And. It's not a lot. Everybody's filed for unemployment. And really? Yeah. Soon we all will. Now that Steve's gone, I can tell you that the trip downtown was really interesting, but also uh, what I didn't show you is how much time I spent when I got in the car cleaning everything down. I wiped down everything with disinfectant wipes, my camera, my hands, the car, the tripod, uh, even the disinfectant, uh, my gel that I use, uh, I clean that off. So I have to be really careful and now I'm gonna go wash my hands a ton. So, oof. All right. No, I'm not gonna say that, I don't think. Wait, oh, okay. No more, all right? No more, all right. So, all right. <laughs> it's the end of week two. Uh, we're now, it's, well, it's the end of, it's not, Sunday is the end of week two. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the end of the work days. It's been 12 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two week, two school weeks. What Almost. do you think? I've def definitely gotten used to working at home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's not what we want. Yeah. Right? How about you? It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
find it's really not that much better or easier to work at home than it is in the office. I used to think that if I was home, it would be so much easier, but it's really not. Yeah, there's a different kind of stress. Yeah. You feel like you got to be working all the time more. Mm -hmm. At least I do. I don't know about you. No, I do. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, I mean, for me, the thing that makes it easier are two things. Number one, getting outside at least for some period of time every day, like an hour or so, if I get outside and move around. And then the other is being able to see other people and their Who's experiences. Well, no, no, no. I mean, even video conferencing oh. and their experiences of what goes on and how they see it and you know how they're living. Mm -hmm. um, that matters, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a call with some friends. You're doing a call tonight. Yeah, I'm like. Half an hour. Yeah, and I'm doing one later too, and Nicholas, you just had one, right? Mm -hmm. So that matters a lot. Yep. So uh, how are we going to get through next week? Because next week is still going to be... There might be online learning. Mm. And you can see your teachers. Mm. And they can see you. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, I think. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna work more to exercise. I exercised every day this week except today, and I really feel it. So, I think that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it'll be sunny next week. That would be amazing. That's really, too like much to expect. Sun. The one day we had sun this week, everybody went out, and then we got grounded. Right. So what do you mean got grounded? The mirror closed, the lake front, and some of the trails because they were too crowded. Mom, Mayor Lightfoot. Yeah. Closed the lakefront trail. So, mom's mad. We're in trouble. Dad, Governor Pritzker, is okay with us. But mom is mad. <laughs> anyway. Leadership. Is there anything you want to say to close out the week? You're the star of the show. Am I? Sure, you're the, you're the scrappy kid with the mm -hmm. funny punchline. Grandma just called because she hasn't seen your video from yesterday. Oh. She's looking for it. She can't work something for you. She can't. <laughs> so you can go find it on YouTube. So I can't find it. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, any punchy last words? Kick the virus in the butt! Ugh. There we go! Kick right. the virus in the butt. It's the new meme-worthy thing from Nicholas Fouché. Thanks a All lot. All right. So welcome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bye.